Good. Tell you what. Learned one thing growing up Creole. I was surrounded by very strong women. Incredibly strong women. Very strong. Damn strong. Found out early that our elders was really strong. Anybody got married, especially in the generation before me, had to do their honeymoon at Mongus's house. Mongus had the nice house on the hill, real fancy, and you honeymooned upstairs at Mongus's house. Well, Dut married Jackie, and they was gonna honeymoon at Mongus's house. And Jackie was a little nervous; she wasn't too sure about herself. So they get to Mongus's. They go upstairs, and Dud had taken off his shirt, and she saw the hair on his shirt, on his chest. And she looked, she said, <gasps> she run downstairs. My Uncle Gussie was downstairs cooking a gumbo. She said, Uncle Gussie, Uncle Gussie, that man upstairs got hair all over his chest. She said, baby, you hold on to that hair on his chest, because that's your man tonight. So she runs upstairs, and this time, Dud had taken his pants off. And she saw his petto. So she runs downstairs. She say, Mo Gussie, Mo Gussie, that man upstairs got a snake between his legs. Gussie say, baby, you hold on to that. Because that's your man tonight. So she goes back upstairs. And by this time, he had taken his shoes off. And he had one of his feet, one, he had a foot cut off. So she looked. She run downstairs. She said, more Gussie, more Gussie. That man upstairs got a foot and a half. Gussie said, girl, you third this gumbo. I'm going upstairs. <laughs> Discipline was very, very, very unique in, in my house. And guys, I cannot lie to you. Because my mommy is sitting right there somewhere. My mom was the type, again, very strong, but believed in discipline. Which basically meant she hit you with whatever she had in her hand. One day, she was in the kitchen cutting and seasoning a chicken. And I'd done something stupid. She had a chicken in one hand, a knife in the other. She slapped me in the eye with the leg quarter. Cayenne pepper like to burn my retina out. I'm glad she didn't stab me. Well, I'd done things in a certain way. Wrong. Well, one day, I was about 16. She told me to take out the trash. She said, but boy, when you take out the trash, and I used to have real long hair, believe it or not. I had real long hair. And she said, when you take out the trash, make sure you grab the whole can because the bag's going to burst. I'm smarter than her. I grabbed the bag, and in our house, you walk through the kitchen, living room, to the outside. I grabbed the bag, and I'm walking through. Bag burst. She did not say a word. She just walked up to me, grabbed my hair, and took off running. Well, hell, I'm faster than her. It wasn't hurting. When she realized it wasn't hurting, she changed directions. I said, oh, no, hold, oh, stop. She said, uh, what? I said, you heard me, stop. She said, uh, you want to take some of that bass out your voice when you talk to me, boy? No. I did. She grabbed a pot and just started beating me. Beating me. She said, you a man? I'm like, no, mama, I'm your son. I'm your son. She said, oh, no, you was a man a minute ago. Actually, the worst one, I done something stupid one day. And, and she just told me to go outside and stand in the driveway. 
And I did. Because I'm supposed to listen. In our driveway, you backed up and then pulled out forward. So I'm in the driveway standing in the middle, as I'm told. She gets in the car, starts it up, and backs up. So she's facing me. I'm trying to do what I'm told. She was coming. She told me not to move. Bam! I flew in a ditch. She went to work. <laughs> 